Chrome itself doesn't make any money. What they're referring to is the fact that the use of Chrome means much higher gross margins than shared browsers. Right. Uh, but again, to me, those are business decisions. I just don't agree with the government's attitude in this area. That was Google's former CEO and Chairman Eric Schmidt this morning on Squawk Box discussing the company's Chrome browser. Google reportedly uh, is being pressured by the DOJ's antitrust to sell the search engine and break up its so-called monopoly on Internet search. Joining us now to discuss Google, broader antitrust landscape as well, is former FTC Commissioner Moselle Thompson. Moselle, good to have you as always. You know, I guess first off is I'd love to understand the change in administration and what that will mean for the various prosecutions already underway. I mean, in this case, the, the they already won, but it's the resolution of, of, of that win that is still to be decided. What happens when things change in administration? Well, it could be a variety of things. It could be one of the things to remember is that under Trump 1.0, a lot of these investigations against big tech were commenced. So although the Trump administration says that they want to streamline a lot of the burden that they have on companies, it's yet to be seen whether they're going to veer in a different direction or in a substantially different direction than where the Biden administration is now. Where you may see some differences is it right here in the types of remedies that they ask for. You know, it's not surprising to me that DOJ would file and they would put on the table divestiture. But that is the most extreme. There, there are ranges anywhere from contractual or um, forward-looking uh, behavioral remedies, but there are also these structural remedies. So we have to see whether this the next administration want, will want to stick with this kind of structural remedy in this particular case. Right. OK, so we're, it's being reported the DOJ is at least uh, asking or it's going to try and convince Judge Maida that divesting Chrome, for example, and he's the judge who's overseeing this, uh, is the appropriate remedy. But your point is that that ask could even change once you get different uh, lawyers in there at the DOJ? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're right. You know, there's a trial that's going to take place about what the appropriate remedy is. And the lawyers are going to have to argue that this particular remedy is the one that's most suited to address the problem that the judge found when they found that Google was a monopoly. So there's a lot of there's a lot of proof that has to take place. And it's not necessarily clear that um, that they want to take that that they're that the next administration is going to be wedded to this particular remedy as the, the best one to solve the problem. All right. Uh, and before we get on to broader antitrust, so for this case in particular, what are your expectations? And just in terms of timing, I know we've had this conversation previously when the judge issued the ruling, but how many years are we talking until we get a, a potential resolution? Well, there are a couple of things going on. First, with the main case, the finding of monopoly, then that's going to have to be appealed to the Court of Appeals and then up possibly to the Supreme Court. That's one track. Second is there's going to be findings that's a trial that's based on remedies. That could take a year. That could take longer. But once this judge makes a finding, then chances are Google will appeal that as well. And it'll go up to the same process through to the Court of Appeals and then into the Supreme Court if they take it. Um, all right. Now, Moselle, sort of the broader, uh, I'd love to get your thoughts on the, the broader antitrust landscape, as again, we have talked so often. We don't know who's going to be running FTC. We don't know who will be head of enforcement at the DOJ. you have any expectations here in terms of what we may see? Well, it, it's sort of a jump ball at this stage, you know, that uh, uh, Matt Gates and, uh, and uh, J.D. Vance have in previous occasions, express their uh, their uh, consternation about big tech, and they will, um, and so their views may allow um, the next enforcer to take a similar position or the same direction as the current FTC and DOJ. But there are going to be a couple of things I think are going to be different. Uh, if there's a goal of reducing corporate burden. Um, I think there's some things that are going to change. 
first, I think you're going to see a greater support of mergers. I think the Biden administration uh, yeah. was very aggressive in, in, in shooting down mergers. And I think you might see an increase in that. Second is that um, you'll see a pullback on regulations. I think that the current FTC uh, is, is, has a whole um, battery of potential uh, um, regulations that they want to pass. And I think that you'll see uh, that tone down a substantial amount, including you yeah. might see a retreat or a different position with regard to their position on non-compete clauses. That you might see. Right. Uh, and finally, Moselle, I mean, it is worth noting that uh, Elon Musk, who's obviously quite influential at, at this point, at least in the incoming administration, not to mention the president-elect himself, both have interests in social media companies. Obviously, Musk with X and, and, uh, and uh, President-elect Trump with uh, Trump, so, uh, Trump Media and Technology. Any, any, any thoughts there in terms of how that may or may not impact at all the, the views uh, when it comes to that particular part of the technology landscape? Well, the president-elect and Elon Musk have in the past expressed concern about the dominance. Well, they, frankly, they, they don't like Google and they don't like Meta. They've said that they're biased. And in this case, now you have Trump owning a social media company and you have Elon Musk affecting policy and he owns X, I could see that they could substantially benefit if the other dominant players in the field are knocked down a few pegs. So it's let this, the, we have to see how that plays out. Yeah, we got to see how a lot of things play out. Uh, always appreciate your help in giving us some perspective, Moselle. Thank you.